welcome to the second part guys in first part uh, we just save the user submitted answer to the database and in second part what we need to do is when the uh, user click this submit button we need to do one more thing that is uh, we need to compare the user submitted answer with the correct answer and store either correct or incorrect in the third table that is in the complete table so for this we are going to write another query here sql commands axtrsct extract query is equal to new sql command and here what we are going to do is we are going to inner join first of all i am going to write the query and i will explain select sub cbm i t t e d a n s w r submit insert dot s a comma insert dot a n s from insert table and then we are going to inner join what we are going to inner join is select top one assay from cbm ittd ans wr order by id dsc descending order and then here is scb mittd nswr submitter answer on cb submitted answer dot s a is equal to Insert dot ans so what this query telling to our database is select submitted insert dot sa means select the sa column uh, of the submitted answer table and ans column from the ans table and here from from insert table and what we are going to inner join is first of all uh, we are going to uh, order the submitted insert table in descending order here you can see order by id in descending order there is the id is uh, like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and uh, this table will be arranged in descending order means the last answer last submitted answer will be at the top of the table that is 7 6 5 like this one and top ones means select the only top most means here you can see select this one only this uh, row from the table and we are going to inner join uh, the answer table with the submitted answer table and uh, the condition is if submitted insert dot sa means if the sa column value is equal to the ans column value this query will extract something let me show you simply copy this and go back to fill and here scripted it create new then control a delete control b
and then click F5. Here it is error. Click F5. There you can see. So bit insert value is edit for it, and then insertable value is edit for it. And this two value is equal, and this row is extracted. If let me show you. First of all, let me run it. If I select this one answer and click submit, this is submitted successfully. And go back to here, and again press F5. Nothing is extracted because here you can see. Read top 20 rows. Here you can see the new value is submitted uh, in uh, the new value is inserted in submitted insert table, and this table will be arranged in descending order. Means this value will be placed in uh, the topmost section of the table, and this value is inner join with the so insert table value, and the query uh, will return something if this condition will be satisfied means if the two value will be equal then this query will extract something otherwise nothing so what we need to do is we extract this and when the user uh, submit the correct answer means uh, when the user submit 8848 we need to insert correct in the compare table otherwise we need to insert incorrect in the compare table so here I'm going to SQL data adapter SDA is equal to new SQL data adapter and then we are going to pass your stack query And then we are going to um, read the uh, database table. So for this, we are going to write data table. DT is equal to new data table. And here we are going to fill SDA dot fill by DT and if dt dot rows dot count is greater than zero means if this query extracts something what we need to do we need to uh, insert correct in the compatible so sql command value query is equal to new SQL command and what we need to write here is go back to SQL server right click over compare click on the scripted is insert into simply copy this and just place here the red sign over and what we need to do is we need to save correct otherwise and what we need to do is simply copy this and paste over here what we need to do is we need to insert incorrect and here we need to connection open we need to open the connection and execute this query value query dot execute and then close the connection sorry con dot close and similar now 
should run this. Now select any answer, correct answer, uh, submit. We got some error here. Oops. I just forget this one connection. Now click submit and again click the right answer and click submit. Now go back to SQL server and check the submit entry table first whether the value is inserted or not. There you go. These two values is inserted recently. Now check the compatible whether the value is inserted or not. There you go. First incorrect value is inserted and then correct because we select the incorrect value and then correct value. Now go back to Visual Studio. Now when the user click this check button, we need to display the user. Either your answer is correct or incorrect. So double click over here. First of all, you need to connect our application with the database so copy this and paste this now SQL command value query is equal to new SQL command and here was we are going to read the database content so Select top one value from compare table order by ID descending order. What this query telling to our database is first of all, uh, order this compare table in descending order means last submitted uh, answer will be placed in the top row and then select the only top first row now uh, we are going to read the database table so for this sql data adapter sda is equal to new sql data adapter here goes value query and then data table dt is equal to new data table sda dot fill dt and we need to display the message to the user response dot write your answer is we are going to read the database table dt dot rows that's it now click the right answer click submit check your answer is correct and then again click incorrect answer click submit and check your answer is incorrect so that's it in this video tutorial guys if you like this video share this uh, video with your friends so that they can know about this tutorial and give thumbs up which really motivates us to make such programming video and stay connected with this channel in order to stay connected with this channel you need to subscribe this channel and subscribe this channel and don't forget to press the bell icon and thank you once again for watching this video have a good day bye, -bye.